as it's now possible to access SMB network shares from an Apple iPad. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can work with files that are stored in the network shares on our Synology NAS. While it's worth noting that not all file types can be opened from your Apple iPad, Office productivity tools such as Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint should all work without issue. However, as Apple Pages, Numbers and Keynote are bundled free with all iPads, in this video we will specifically be using Pages for our demonstration. So with our iPad wirelessly connected to our home network, let's get started by creating a new document in the Apple Pages app. When Pages first opens, the app will display a screen similar to the one that we see in the Files app. This means that on the left side of the screen, we have a sidebar displaying locations where we can either open or save files to. Then on the right side of the screen, we have the contents for whatever we've highlighted under Locations. However, by default, as our iPad, we'll be displaying the contents of a location either in the local storage on our iPad or from our iCloud account. In order to access the network shares on our Synology NAS, we first need to connect our iPad to our NAS. To do this, if we select Options, and then from the drop down menu choose Connect to Server, when the Connect to Server panel opens, as our iPad will have remembered the details that we've previously used to connect to our NAS, if we select our NAS from the list in Recent Servers, and then when prompted for user credentials, simply choose Next, the network shares on our NAS will be displayed. As we have a network share called Public, with full read write permissions for all of our users, for this demonstration, we will be using our public folder. As you can see, our public folder currently does not contain any files, so all our iPad is displaying is a Create Document icon. Let's select Create Document. Now, from the list of templates, we're going to choose blank. Let's start by pasting some text into this blank document. One of the things you may have noticed about working with an iPad is that most of the apps have no obvious way to save. This is basically because Pages, Numbers and Keynote will automatically save files into the location that we open them from. However, as this is a new document, our file currently does not have a file name. So if we select the current title of our file, a drop down menu will appear consisting of three options Rename, Save, and Move. If we were to select Save, then a file called Blank would be created in the public folder of our network shares. However, as we want to give this file a more recognizable file name, we need to choose Rename from the menu. We now need to give our file a name and then return to the main document in order for our file to save to the public share on our NAS. To demonstrate that our file has now been saved to our public folder, if we select Documents, you can see that our public folder now has a copy of the file that we've just created. In order to edit an existing file stored on our NAS, if from within Pages we select the file that we wish to edit, as our iPad has already made a note of where our files are saved to, as we edit the document, our amendments will automatically be saved. Let's demonstrate by adding some more text to this document and then closing this file by once again selecting Documents. While this behavior seems counterintuitive, particularly if you're a regular user of Microsoft Word for Windows, as our iPad is auto saving, our edits should have been saved. To confirm, let's reopen our example document. As you can see, our amendments were saved. However, autosave can be unreliable when used with network shares. So we recommend that when you work with your files, you periodically perform a manual save to update that file. To do this, if we once again select the title to our document, a quick menu will appear. However, rather than rename the file, this time we're going to select Save so that the existing file in our public folder is updated with our latest amendment. We can now either continue to work on our file or leave the Pages app. 